I had a, a student stay after class last week and say, hey, Greg, he goes, the, uh, the training experience, fantastic. Thank you for that. He goes, but I wasn't expecting this to be a two four. I'm like a twofer. Well, what do you mean? You know, it's like a special. He goes, yeah. Um, not only did I learn stuff about Scrum Mastery, but like real life, a lot of challenges in real life can be addressed by these same things. So I kind of want to lean on that. Um, Scrum Master training prepares you for real world challenges. What do you guys think? Have you experienced this? Yeah, and I I've seen this a couple different ways. So it really depends on the scrum class you go to. And I, I, I've not been to all scrum classes ever, but I've, I've seen a little bit here and there. Um, scrum classes that focus more on the mechanics of scrum and you're building like paper mache models or playing with Legos to, uh, to implement um, the scrum framework on, on making something, you might not see a lot of scrum master real live challenges or real world experience challenges in there. Uh, but the three of us teaching the professional scrum master course in that class, it is designed to be experiential and a little bit more advanced. And, um, you know, this isn't designed to be a plug for that class, but just that's, that's the class I teach the most and know the most about. We in that class do go through quite a few experiences that are very common. Like you're in a retrospective and things are going crazy or you're in sprint planning and no one knows how much work that they can, they can plan out. And so we put you in situations where you're going to experience these things in small bites. And then we talk about it uh, immediately afterwards. I think there's probably a, a dozen different real world uh, sort of mi mini or micro case studies that we go through throughout the class. Uh, so depending on the class, the instructor and all that, you can gain quite a bit of real world experience just going through one of these courses. Yeah, I, I agree. I think um, some of the some of the things that we see in scrum training classes are sort of microcosms of what a real team will face. So for example, a lot of times we'll set up a five or 10 minute exercise to solve a problem, right? Here, here is the challenge. Here is the problem a team is facing. What are some solutions you might come up with? And just the, the act of having to brainstorm in a group uh, in five ten, minute, five, ten minutes gives you preparation for using that skill on a real world scrum team as well as outside of scrum, right? There are times where I've used a technique like, uh, you know, some kind of facilitation technique that I learned as being a scrum master or I learned in a scrum training class um, outside of scrum completely, where I'm just in a group of people, you know, outside of my work environment and we have to make a decision or we have to get ideas from lots of people. And some some of those facilitation techniques have helped me just like manage the chaos and get to something that we can move forward with in a very short period of time. And then we can adapt from, like be empirical and be agile and, you know, learn from it quickly and then change direction when we need to. So I think those types of uh, facilitation techniques and empirical thinking are really applicable both in our real world scrum team and just outside of scrum altogether. It's hard to add to what you all said because it's, it's all good. It kind of brings it all together. Um, you know, the, the specific case studies that we can mirror and identify is like, yeah, that was my scenario. I don't know how many times that showed up in class or sometimes that's exactly what we're going through right now is that thing, mm -hmm. except it's not that name. It's a different name and a different group of people, um, which I think validates the, uh, um, the relevance of, of the things that uh, anchor the learning in the training. Um, some of the other pieces that I've been surprised at, because I'll often get uh, uh, very instant feedback at the end of training, is people are surprised at what they learn from exploring something like the Kinevin framework, which explains complexity and why uh, Scrum is effective. You don't need Scrum in a non-complex environment. I mean, that's the, the summary of it. But as soon as they could appreciate what was involved with complexity, for instance, it mapped to so many things in their reality beyond the Scrum team, but organizationally and otherwise. Um, so I, I feel like there's so many real world challenges that are addressed. If you're looking for it going in and have that lens set, you're going to be shocked uh, at every point where I think talking about things and teaching you things uh, that have a direct impact on your daily life with just about everybody you interact with. Did you know we teach professional scrum courses? If not, check the links in the description for information about how you can join one of our professional scrum courses and hang out with us. All right, you know the drill. This is YouTube after all. So this is where I ask you to click the thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the bell or whatever else YouTube's come up with these days for you to get our videos delivered to you. Or even better, in our description below, there's a link where you can get these videos delivered straight to your inbox.